In this video I'm going to show you how to fix frustrating issues like fraying bristles and excess paint in your synthetic brushes so you can get on with having fun painting. To do that I want to show you three methods and stick around to the end of the video because I'll show you one thing that I did which completely took all the stress out of worrying about the maintenance of my brushes. So welcome back to Rise Again Minis. My name's James. Let's get into it. Method one. For this method you can need some boiling water. So pop the kettle on or if you're American Pop some water on the stove and let it boil. Then you're gonna need some sort of rag, a heatproof jug, a little container, some dish soap or soap, and some old brushes. Pour your boiling water into your heatproof container. Pop your soap in whatever you're gonna use. Check out those nasty little brushes, and then we're ready to go. So first up, we're going to repair any bent bristles. This is just by putting a cap on wrong. So we're going to soak it in the boiling water for about 20 or 30 seconds before rolling it out with a twisting motion just to help smooth those bristles back into shape. Ta -da! Now we can start cleaning the brush itself. So all we're doing is rolling it through that dish soap, just back and forth along the, following the direction of the bristle, and then the same again on our rag. Literally just trying to drag from the bottom to the top and dragging all of that dirty paint off. You may need to do some back and forth here between your mixing and your rinsing and your dragging on your cloth, but pretty soon you'll get it fairly clean. But the tip's not perfect. So what do we do here? Dip it in some water, pop it into the palm of your hand and use the crease with a rolling motion and just drag it through. And there you go, the perfect tip. If you've got some brushes where the paint's really caked on, it's exactly the same steps. You just need to be a bit more vigorous and maybe do a bit more back and forth. But eventually you'll get there and end up saving the brushes and avoid throwing them away. If you feel more comfortable using a bar of soap instead of dish soap, that's fine. Basically the same steps, except you just build up a lather on top of the block of soap, working the brush back and forth before cleaning it off on your wet rag or towel, and then finally wiping down your bar of soap. Method two. Now this is my go-to method. I do this at the end of every painting session because it's a really fast and easy way to stay on top of my brush maintenance. If you do this at the end of every session, you can avoid all of the issues that likely brought you to this video in the first place. Prevention is better than cure. So the star of the show here is Chroma Incredible Brush Cleaner. The links are down below. It's basically the same as dish soap, but it uses potassium oleate, which is just as effective, but non-toxic and less abrasive. So won't damage your bristles in the same way. To clean, follow the same steps. So first, rinse off in water and then dry it off to wipe off any excess paint. Then, using neat chroma, clean through your brush and you'll end up with a painty residue left in the cup. Wipe it down once more, give it a final rinse, final dry, and then create and shape those tips of those bristles in the palm of your hand. And that's it. Method three. Sometimes, despite everything, you still end up with a curved tip to your brush. If that's the case, here's what you do. This is brush repair gel. It's essentially what they put in their factories to preserve the brushes before they ship them. Apply it neat and just roll the bristles through it. You may need to work it a little bit to really work it in shape, particularly if it's particularly badly hooked or curved. But carry on doing it and eventually I'll end up with a shape that's something acceptable and then you leave it for 24 hours to harden. It'll harden and go pretty solid, but don't panic at this point. Just rinse the brush, then wipe it clean, and you'll end up with a nice, sharp tip to your brushes. Bonus tip. Now this is cheating, but if you hunt for some bargains, you can find them. I found these 30 paint brushes for 30 pounds on eBay. You really don't need to worry about trashing your brushes if you're spending less than a pound on each brush. You can still take good care of them, they just last longer. So if you've enjoyed this video, you'll likely enjoy one of these other videos too. And all that remains to say is that humans need fantasy to be the place where the falling angel meets the rising ape. See you next time.